Hi, I'm Kat with Little Soso Productions, a Maryland-based event planning and artist management company. Tonight you are in an event that we've created that is called When Harlem Came to Paris. It is an event that mashes Paris with figures from the Harlem Renaissance, and it's just sort of a what if. You know, what if these people were all at a party together in 1934, what would it look like? So everyone got dressed up in their best 20s and 30s style, um, enjoyed some music, got to eat a lot of great food, uh, drank a lot, and got to see some really great live performances by noted figures including uh, Billie Holiday, Duke Ellington, and Josephine Baker. The point of the event was to really highlight some of the, the Harlem Renaissance figures, but humanize them in a way that made them accessible. So in 1934, these figures weren't popular, people weren't... Um, running down the door to see them, but people knew of them. So we set it in this time to really create an interactive atmosphere. You so far it has been an all-around hit. Um, we had about 100 people show up to this very beautiful space, the Alliance de Francais. In June of 2007, last year, I actually came to the Alliance to talk to them about having a client of mine perform at one of their events. And I looked to the left in the library and saw the Harlem Renaissance reader sticking out just a little bit. It was all in French. And I thought, what if? I immediately called one of my friends who you know, works with me on everything, Kim Gaines, who does all the photography and the, draft and the, the graphic design. I said, what do you think about this? What if we did a party? that looked at the Harlem Renaissance, but it was set in Paris. Uh, this is sort of one of the many concept events that we do, and hopefully you'll see us in a city near you as we try to take this on tour. Thanks. Bye.